Hello, I am Michael Kearns. I'm the technical director of the Gold Corp stage at the Arts Club Theater Company. And today I'm bringing you a little fun interlude to the artists uh, that we've been bringing you at uh, Live From Home. Um, I'm going to show everybody how to make a COVID tree swing. As we all know, the parks are closed here in Vancouver and uh, basically around the world and it leaves our kids with nothing to do. So um, I sort of borrowed a design that my dad had built when I was a kid and uh, it fits in a backpack and it's something that you can put up into a tree and then take down again so that it can be yours and nobody else touches it and you get to have really good time in a park. So I took these videos the other day and I'm gonna be sharing them with you um, and I will be commenting on them as we go. So here we go. Hi there, I'm Michael Kearns and I'm uh, gonna show everybody today how to make a portable backpack tree swing for yourself or your children during this COVID crisis. So all you need here are some materials. You got a um, very important board with a hole in it. On a one inch hole, if you're gonna use three quarter inch rope, make sure that you have a nice long length of it. I'm ambitious, so I have 50 feet, uh, trying to find higher and higher trees to swing in. And uh, you wanna tie a little knot in the end. This is a figure eight knot basically regular knot except you wrap it around twice and with this kind of rope you want to make sure that you tie off the ends because it's sort of um, this is poly uh, poly rope that you can get at Home Depot um, three-quarter inch then you also want another kind of rope it's any kind of nylon rope the cheap stuff you can get at Home Depot for like six bucks for a hundred feet and then the very important part is the rock in a sock right that you attach to the first set of ropes. So here's my tree and I'm gonna just put you on the ground and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So it's very important to make sure that you're picking the right tree. You wanna have a hardwood tree. This one's an oak tree um, and a branch that is substantially uh, at a steep angle to the ground ideally, so that it doesn't bend or sway um, when you're swinging on it. Again, this is a tree swing made for children. There we go. Uh, the rope has a working load limit of a thousand pounds. Um, but in theater, we always want to have a 10 to one weight ratio, especially with the sort of dynamic weight that a tree swing would take. Got the rock a little coiled here, so. <laughs> um, trees are a little dry and mossy right now, so there's a lot of friction on the ropes. You might need to wiggle it to get it over. Uh, or ideally, if you lob it up and over, it'll... This is a very high branch, by the way, so no need to go too crazy like I do. Um, and again, back to the, the 10 to 1 rate, weight ratio, you probably want to limit it to, like, you know, your kid, 120 pounds or so. Um, it takes my weight, uh, and I swing on it pretty vigorously, but, uh, again, in theater, we always want to be safe. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> Hold on. So, finally get that knot down. So that is probably the hard part. <laughs> of doing that is getting the rope around. But once you get that, it's pretty simple from there. You, uh... Here we go. Now, what you do is you... Untie the knot. knot out. You want to learn how to rock tie a stuff. clove hitch. Clove hitch is one of the most Im important knots that we spin. use in theater. He's going to be the one enjoying this. Tie it up. Give it a nice safety line. 
and then you just take the other end and you no, I can hold it. pull it up into the tree. Can so, I hold it? Yeah, here, hold on, Finn. Now, once you yeah, now, got this, now we have yeah. Finn the cameraman. Pull the rope up into the tree. So you use the first the nylon rope to pull so back down. the larger rope up. Make sure you don't lose the other part of the rope. And then you simply and put this through the loop. The end of the, right the yellow rope goes through the loop that's anything? in the other side no. of the yellow that's rope. You're covering it with your so you keep the loop in okay. always. What? And that's there what you, you tie to the nylon rope to bring yeah, it up into the tree. Like and then the loop actually hey. loops no, through yeah. itself. That's and that's what goes and now it's up in the tree. goes around the tree limb. The remaining rope from the other one, the first guy. Yeah, the nylon rope that you threw up over the tree. And you get that just, out of the way by just wrapping it around the tree. Yeah. Just wrap it around the tree. I usually coil it up nice. There you go. I'm doing kind of quick right and now. And then, can you see me still, Finn? Yeah. Look at me. Point it at me. There you go. And you just put, look, no, point it at me. <laughs> no, I'm pointing it at the wood tree. Okay, and then, then you put your, your, your seat through there. There you go. So you just tie a simple knot. Now you will have a little extra a on the end here. Right there. So I like to coil that up and then tie it. And then you just, now you're off to the races. Yeah. Woohoo! And I, I didn't film you. Yeah, you did, Finn. Here's a, a little of so me Now you got Finn. your tree swing all set up. There it is. Going all the way up there. And uh, we're ready to go. Swing away. Here we go. He loves this tree swing. Yeah. Here's some more. Oh, nice. Here's some more Finn. Don't play with the phone all the time. I gotcha. Ha 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 ha. And I'll never let what? you go. Your phone is dropped. It dropped. My phone dropped. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go home. That's All tired out, ready to go home. Long day of swinging on a tree swing. So here we go. All we do is untie a couple knots. So again, this is how I coiled up the rope. This is the knot I used to tie up the excess rope. And that's the slip knot. It should come out pretty easily. Untie the swing. Swing comes out. Got another End knot here to untie. Yeah, taking a while. That's the clove hitch. That's a very strong knot. You can learn a clove hitch online. But any a regular knot will work too. Rope that we Shoelace. stored behind the tree. It goes right up back into the tree there. So that's never been taken out of the original uh, loop. So now you'll see when pull on this you one, pull on this. The loop the, comes down. Yep. See how the rope has just gone through the loop in the there end. Go. Loop. That's it. The other side comes out. And watch out, Mike. Yeah, you got to stand out of the way when you do this, because otherwise you get smacked in the head. <laughs> stand out of the way, obviously. Yeah, obviously. And uh, there we go. So uh, yeah, so I'll just show you a couple things. Here's the the rope that I use. You can get this at Home Depot uh, by the foot. I think it's about seventy some cents, maybe a little bit more. Um, as I said, it has a working load limit of uh, about a thousand pounds. So if you use that 10 to 1 weight, weight ratio, you probably want to keep your kid under 100 pounds on it. But again, I'm, I'm a solid 200 pound individual and I, I have uh, uh, swung on this pretty hard. So this is the important part. This is like the only knot that you need to know is the uh, figure eight. Um, and it's pretty simple to do. <clears throat> I'll use the other end as an example. All you do is you take like a pretty long length of it in a loop right there, let, let it sort of go over, and then you 
just take the end where you want the loop and twist this once, twice, and then take that loop and pull it through. All right, so there you go. And that, that's, that's all the loop that you need really there. And again, this is this rope is not. It's very. Um, it's very um, slick, kind of. You know, it's it's definitely a polyester rope, so it's not made for taking these sorts of knots. So this end piece here, what you want to do is definitely wrap it up, either with a small piece of twine and then some tape over it, or even if you want to be extra safe. Um, some uh, some like wire, a little bit of wire, like a hanger would do it, and just wrap it around there really tight with a with a with a wrench, and then tape it over that so that it's not poking out. <clears throat> Use some electrical tape or something like that, and that's really the most important part there. I think I even on my now that I'm looking at it on my other end, I've just gone one wrap. So rather than doing the full figure eight, I just went one wrap through and did this guy, which is just like tying um, a regular knot. And that's that's totally stable enough. Again, the important part is that this never comes undone. So again, wrapping this up with some electrical tape um, so that it never comes through. And once you know this is looped up around the tree and the other end is through it and, and, uh, and around the tree like that, then it will, uh, uh, it'll be pulling weight on itself and it, and it will never come out. So, um, so there you go. That's how you make a tree swing in COVID times. I hope, uh, I hope you have fun, be safe, make sure you pick a good tree and not on somebody's private property and, uh, have a really good time. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Ashley Corcoran, the artistic director of the Arts Club Theater Company. And I want to thank you for watching Live From Home, sponsored by IA Financial.